Today, the Kentucky Wildcats and the LSU Tigers get together. One two pitch grounded to the right field. This could produce a run. Sean McMullen comes up throwing and it's cut off and Kentucky has its first lead of the weekend. Alex Bregman, who's been the talk of the town, lifts one deep to center field and that's down on the warning track. Laird rounds at second. Laird is on his way to third and he slides in safely there. Or I beg your pardon, that is Bregman who goes all the way to third base. Katz lifts this one into right center field and this will be plenty deep enough for Bregman to tag and score. And Katz drives in another run. He's got to make sure he's there if he's going to take the back. Uh -oh. oh my, you can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. That is over the bleachers in left field. Jacoby Jones muscles up and sends one out of the reach of everybody. How about Paul Maneri trusting Jacoby Jones 3-0 right there. Jacoby Jones lifts one into shallow right field. It's down for a base hit. He produces his third run batted in of the day. You're seeing the true Jacoby Jones hitter that he is. Ty Ross pushes a nice bunt to the right side. The throw at the plate is in time. You talked about Littrell's ability to field his position, and that was a golden play defensively. That's it sharply, and it bounces by the third baseman, Kuhn. And now is bobbled in left for a moment, allowing the base runners to move 90 more feet. Ground ball, left side, hops into left field off the bat of Ibarra. More runs come in, and the Tigers continue to pound the Kentucky pitching. This is pretty well tagged. McMullen is back, looking up. Laird is there, and it's gone. A home run deep over the right center field wall by the leading power producer for Kentucky, A.J. Reed. Well, you said it. Let's see if this big fella can uncoil on one, and he did. This one is tattooed to left, and it is high off the wall. Ibarra is being waved around, and Jacoby Jones stops at second base with a run-scoring, wall-banging double. People around the country now are taking serious notice of what LSU's doing in Baton Rouge as they are having. They're off to the best start in the history of the storied program.